shall be judges of this eerie conspiracy. Hi, I'm Clyde Lewis. Welcome to Ground Zero Behind the Scenes. I don't want to sound like a broken record, and I don't want to say that we're talking about this too much, but it just seems to not be stopping. We've got more zombie stories to talk about, more people eating people or attempting to eat other people. In fact, here we have a guy who tried to bite off a large chunk of a victim's face in Louisiana. He even tried to attack police officers. And this is what is odd, is that it continues to happen, and it's happening all around the south and the eastern seaboard. And yet they deny that this is even anything to be concerned about. Here's another case where police say a woman attacked, uh, a woman attacked a store owner, uh, also a 70-year-old father, and police. She bit them because they wanted, actually she wanted to get a wig. And so this is something that we need to pay attention to. And not only that, but they also allegedly uncovered skeleton remains or skeletal remains of vampires in Bulgaria. I think this is some sort of a programming thing. It's a predictive programming thing or it's some sort of a desensitizing thing to get us prepared for the idea that there are zombies and there are vampires out there. Because it seems to me, I know a little about vampirism because I've studied it, I've studied the occult and everything. And what it is, is they're saying that they're vampire corpses because they are pinned to the caskets. Well, they used to pin a lot of caskets, pin people to a lot of caskets back then because they didn't want grave robbing to take place. The best way to tell if you're dealing with a real vampire, whether a vampire's been buried and you found the remains, this is how I've seen it, is you need to look carefully at how the skull is, the jaw is pulled out and something is shoved in the mouth to keep them from biting people. And that is why a vampire uh, skull, if you know you're dealing with a vampire, the idea is to pin the body to a casket and then to shove a rock or something into the mouth to keep them from biting down. Here are several pictures of the same thing. Here's one that was unearthed where you see they have a rock in the mouth to keep it from biting someone. They're hoping that uh, they won't rise from the grave. Here's another shot too of the same thing with the same rock in the mouth. You know, maybe that could be a remedy for what's going on now in the country. If you find these guys and they're trying to bite people or bite the faces off people, best thing for them to do is to take and put a gag in their mouth or take a big old rock and just shove it in there to keep them from biting. I'm Clyde Lewis and this is Ground Zero Behind the Scenes. We will not stop until we have discovered the vampires. <laughs>